At 10.30, we have Cal, who's 2-1. and one. Traveling number 8, Washington, who's 3-0. and oh. Washington favored by 21 points on ESPN. Ben Finley for the Golden Bears, gone 32-47, thrown for 329 yards, one touchdown and one interception. Jaden Knott is kind of a beast. He's had 40 carries for 266 yards and three touchdowns. Watching him run is the only watchable part of Cal offensively. Jeremiah Hunter has had 16 catches for 147 yards and two touchdowns. Michael Penix Jr. for the Huskies has gone 84-113, thrown for 1,332 yards, 12 touchdowns to only one interception. Again, as much as I was praising Caleb Williams for how great he has been, Michael Penix Jr. has been that and more here early on in this year. Dylan Johnson's had 15 carries for 83 yards and a touchdown, and Romeo Dones has had 12, 22 catches for 419 yards and two touchdowns. Washington is 56-41 and 41 against Cal all-time. Last two games have gone to Washington in 2020, 2021 and 2022. Last four have been one possession football games between these two, though, and they've they split them. So Cal's two and two in one possession games against Washington. So these games have been close recently. I don't think that happens this year, right? I under, I don't understand how it happened last year. Like Washington's a significantly better football team than Cal, and not to no offense to Cal, there's a shot you guys make a ball game if you win just some some uh, difficult ones yeah you're gonna have to win some tough ones let's get this one's at washington number one you're cal <laughs> and sure cal could easily be three and oh right now in this game like if you shouldn't have dropped the auburn game if i'm going to be all that honest um but regardless this is still cal this is still washington and i'm excited for washington to actually play a tough game which i don't know when that's going to happen because eventually you will have to because it's the pac-12 um but this this ain't it. Cal is not the tough team. Washington should wipe the floor with them. Just like I was saying, USC should wipe the floor against Arizona State. Except for this one, at least is at home. So, for Washington, it's not on the road. Like, the USC is going to wipe Arizona State in their stadium. At least Cal gets wiped in someone else's stadium. This is still not going to be all that close. Give me Washington to win and cover by 21.